Maraming bes, bata pa po actually. Kaya napagkakano yung edad ko, no? Actually, 13 years old pa lang si Vince. Um, may mga ginagawa na po kami na direct with like um, mga horror movies. And Vince would, ano, um, tag along. Parang nag, pinag-aaral siya. Uh, nag-aaral siya mag-aaral. So, nakailang bes na rin kami. But uh, this is the first time na talagang nakita kong Nung una, beta na siya, tapos ano na rin po, uh, internationally acclaimed na rin siya uh, for his acting. So, um, actually, may mga scenes na ginagaw, ako humingi ng gabay kay Vince. Lalo na pagdating, hindi, totoo kasi iba kamay po nito. Medyo, pag tumatanda po tayo, medyo kumabagal yung kamay at saka isip. <laughs> Pero si Vince, uh, iba, iba talento po nito. So, humingi po ako ng payo sa kanya kung paano gawin niya. Ibig niya pong sabihin, hindi po ko siya, tinanong ko siya kung naging nalulong ka ba sa sugal. Sabi niya, ever since hindi ako nalulong sa sugal, kahit na hindi daw po talaga nagkakasina siya ever since. So, kada mag-take kami, kaya makikita niyo yung baraha, ay yung baraha, hindi siya marunong humawak, tapos nanginginig pa. Kaya, sabi niya, Vince, ayusin mo yung baraha ko. Tapos, ayun, siya, doon ko siya natutulungan po sa baraha. Hindi po ko siya marunong talaga po sa kanya. Oh. Lagi niya akong ano, pinupuri, eh hindi, hindi ka naman po yung gusto yung gano'n. Ako ito akong pinupuri na ganyan ka, wag ganyan galing mo, ganyan ganyan, sobrang galing mo. Tapos sa eksena namin, tahimik ka lang pero nakikita ko yung reaction mo. Sabi ko, hindi, hindi gano'n yun. Sabi ko, kaya ka mag-alala, sabi ko sa kanya, lamon mo ako dito kasi mas intense ka kumarte sa akin pero may puso. Sabi sa kanya, iba ka pa rin, barang, 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 barang. So, marami ka rin natuturan sa kanya. Opo, marami na po na. Ayan, yung sa may pupunta sa set, iinom sa akin. Hindi ko na ginagawa kasi nakikita ko na po yun sa kanya. Dati po, dati po, dati po. Dati po. Kaya hindi ko na po gagawin. Kaya matalinong bata nga po na sa kids. Baka talinong po. Pag may dapat yung tuluhin. Pero, ah, in all fairness, hindi po. Walang nangyari yung inuman na to. Yung dating, dating, dating ginawa po namin. Mautak po siya eh. Umorder siya ng halo-halo. Kwento ko yan. Akala ko talaga halo-halo. Dialagin niya pala ng sun, ng alak. Jim! Sabi ko yung halo-halo mo yung Jim, mautak. Basta gusto niya talaga minang iinom talaga siya. Pero ngayon, nalala namin nagbago niya. Siguro po, takot lang kay Derek Berlant. Hindi ko po alam sa ito. Ano po? Takot ako kay Boss V. At siya, you know, kay Boss V. That's good to know. Thank you. Last na lang kung sino man ang gusto. The journey of you meeting together and your artistic collaboration for Pusoy. How did it all start? Yeah. So you may not remember this, but I met you. He came, he came to speak at my university. I went to New York University and he he presented one of his films there. We we met briefly. So that's when I started um, being exposed to his work because before then um, I never saw him. So I started watching all his films and I was like so shocked. Um, that was like maybe 10 years ago. Singapore? This is Singapore. Yeah. Yeah. Ka Carlos invited you to give a talk. Yes. We never even mentioned this. Piece. We never even discussed this. But... Oh, you remember? Yeah. And um, so then I started watching his films and I was like blown away. Like, um, he would. I watched uh, Kinatai and I was like, I didn't know you could do that, that type of thing. Um, the verite and the way that you shoot through the crowd and like it's everything, the tension and the, the mood, I was, okay, anyway. And then we met also in 2016, um, my short film was in Busan, and we, we met there, and we started building a friendship, a relationship, and um, I wanted to work with him for quite some time. And then, uh, when I, I, I wrote the script for this project, and uh, we pitched it, and so I was developing it, and um, once, we were close to getting greenlit. Um, Carlo Valenzona, who's uh, associate producer on the film, my kind of producing partner, we act, we reached out to Broyan to give us some creative advice on the script, just to kind of fill out the characters and the world a little bit. And um, it seemed like a really good creative fit. Um, so he, he came on as producer um, towards the end, right before we got, actually I think we had just gotten greenlit. And right at that point, he came on and uh, his company came, um, they produced the film for us. So, um, 
yeah, it's kind of like he's been a big inspiration for me for a long time. And uh, is there another part? Is, is, is that the whole uh, question? Yeah. Thank you. So we, we discuss everything. Mm -hmm. It's like everything's a big conversation. And that's one thing I really like about like working on this production is there's so much communication. There's, there's lots of meetings, lots of conversations. So we, we discuss everything. And they, they don't actually know like the story or the scripts. They're not given any of that. It's very common. But with how you know, his productions. But um, so him, him, uh, he and I will discuss you know, what's going to happen in the scene, what the intention is, everything. And then, uh, then he will kind of like discuss it with them, and then they, they do the scene, and then we make little we make little adjustments. But um, yeah, it was like a extremely collaborative experience. So it's a complete collaboration. So we just everything like every single decision we talk about. There's nothing on there that we don't talk about. So um, some things are more his, some things are more mine. But everything we kind of like discuss and then we, we put up. How much? Uh, I'm like, I've been, you know, every time I get these kind of questions, like I love it because um, they're incredible. Like it, it's like Baron's like so explosive, you know, and, and uh, Vince is so like versatile and um, uh, everyone just has like such unique abilities and uh, they're so present, you know. Um, they have such little time to make those choices, and they make such bold like choices all the way through. And uh, yeah, we we're, we're we're very happy when we're ending. We we're extremely happy with all the performances. Po, kasi po sa mga magulang ko, kasi po yung tatay ng polis patay na po siya. Ang sakit yaring po kidney. So dialysis kaya alam ko yung pagkaramdam ng dinay dialysis. Ayun po. Ano yung usahan niyo? Salamat. Jimmy, Myron. For me, talaga it's the um, the love scenes lah talaga. Hindi po talaga ay tititiro. Hindi talaga ako sa nai. And I'm very private when it comes. To so at least ito. Um, uh, <coughs> Medyo, it was a freeing experience for me to the point na para lang mawala yung hiya ko. Nagpa, while waiting for Chanel to come in the scene habang inaayo siya. Uh, Nagpipiktorial ako, in-enjoy ko na lang, parang nilaloko yung, uh, yung mind ko, pinaprogram ko siya, stuck kayo ako, tapos sabihin ko kay direct friend cinematographer na, sige nga, sige nga, kuha na mo nga yung pag ko, sige nga, sige nga. It's parang workshop na rin before we shoot, para in-enjoy po. Kasi hindi po ako, parang, hindi ako, hindi maganda ka naman. More tablet. Hindi rin, kung maganda po, may abs ako, or mga Marco kumakabaw yung katawang ko, di ba? Parang, guys, eto ko kayo na. Next time. My motivation sa mga ginawa ko is direct brillante. <laughs> and also the Viva. Para proud sila sa akin. <laughs> My motivation is gustong gusto ko ma-prove yung sarili. Ma-prove yung sarili ko kung anong capable ko. And uh, growing up, talagang medyo um, down. Kaya ngayon na marami akong blessings na natatanggap. I want to prove everyone what I'm capable of. And my motivation is also my mom, my family. Na nandyan sila para supportahan ako at nakaka-apply ng feelings para mas gawin ko pa yung best ko sa bawat movie na ginagawa ko. And yung motivation ko kay Sandra is I actually love this film kasi walang script. So yung natural instinct mo as an actress, kumbaga nahahasa mo dito. And na-apply ko rin yung uh, sa, natutunan ko sa hosting dito. But of course, with the help din ni Direk Brillante ko anong kailangan dun sa mga eksena. Kumbaga tinutulungan naman niya kami. Pero binibigyan niya rin kami ng freedom na ito yung kailangan dito sa ano na to, motivation to sa scene na to. And uh, kumbaga, if, if you wanna have your 
uh, additional ko ng mga gusto mo pang feel mo. Uh, hindi ko makalimutan yung sinabi niya, um, huwag kang maging alanganin. If you feel that that's right, then, then do it. Parang uh, huwag mong isipin na tama pa tong gagawin ko, mali ba? Parang if, if you feel that that's how your character will be, in that certain scene, then, di ba, go all the way. So, wag kang mag-alangan. And at the same time, nakakatulong din ang motivation yung co-actor mo. Di ba, meron ka lang sa sarili mo, it's uh, from your director, and of course, yung co-actor mo. Very generous ko yung mga ka-excite na ko dito, kaya medyo naging uh, maganda yung uh, collaboration ng lahat. Thank you for coming, guys. Uh, please wa watch Pusoy. Uh, May 27, ayan, uh, samahan nyo kami and sana mag-enjoy kayo kayo. Right Maraming salamat. Um, uh, congratulations sa Viva Max, uh, more than 3 million subscribers na. So, um, dito sa Asia, naniniwala ako na it's going to be really big. No? And um, also, um, um, Please watch, you know, uh, our film uh, sa May 27 na po sa Paisa Pai po natin panoorin, directed by Phil uh, Giordano and with these brilliant cast members and uh, pro produced by uh, Derek Brillian Limitazo. And so, maraming salamat sa Viva Artist Agency. Thank you, Janelle. Giordano. Sa Ngayong biyernes na ho, manood tayo sa libungin natin 12 Midnight Usoy, of course, directed by and written by Phil Giordano and produced by, of course, Derek Brillante Mendoza. Center Stage Production, so yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Janelle. Anjali? Um, marami marami salamat po sa dumayo, nanood, at kasama kong sumaya mapanood ng Usoy. Kaya i-invite nyo po ang mga kakilala nyo, mga family nyo din. <laughs> na manood ng puso ay streaming this May 27. Vince? Hello po, maraming 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 salamat po sa inyo. Sana po nagustuhan niyo yung pelikula. Uh, ito po, Pusoy, May 27 po, directed by Peter Nyanyo, which is by Brillante Mendoza, on Viva Max. Please, maraming salamat. Thank you, Vince. Direct Phil? Thank you everyone for coming. Please watch Pusoy on Viva Max, May 27th. There you have it. How about a big, big hand for your cast and director? And again, congratulations to Team Pusoy.